Hey guys, Vazzy back here, and a quick NHL 25 news update here, as I found something yesterday that I haven't seen really anybody else talking about up until now. And you know, for offline players for roster editing, it is rather significant, so I did want to bring that up here quickly. So let's start at the beginning. So yesterday, Tactics put out a tweet that Matvey Michkov is going to be in NHL 25. That's great that he made it in without having to play a game. But interestingly enough, so you look at all his individual stats here, what they made him as. If you make him again exactly like that in NHL 24, he comes out at a totally different rating. I made a post about this yesterday. In NHL 24, he comes out at a 79 overall compared to an 82 overall in NHL 25. So what's the difference here? Why is there all of a sudden using the same stats, the same attributes coming out with different overalls? And it turns out it's due to the player type. So in the example here I just showed, I ended up making him as a sniper by accident, but I just ended up going and changing him over to a playmaker in this example. Of course, as you guys know, it's going to be 79 overall. There'll be no change as player type didn't affect overall in NHL 24. But in 25, it appears that it actually does. And that's a great change. I don't know why this was never really brought up at all. So also here, if I go to Snipe and Score, another awesome, awesome roster creator out there, uh, he ended up putting out a post yesterday replying to mine regarding to Quinn Hughes, and he gave more examples in NHL 25 of how this works. And it's a great change to see. So as an offensive defenseman, Hughes is a 94 overall. That's what he will be in the base roster. If you go and move him over to a two-way defenseman, he comes out at 93 overall. So only a one-point drop. But then if you move him to a defensive defenseman, comes out at 88 overall. That really shows that now certain individual attributes will be tied to each player type and will, you know, help prop up an overall. So now I don't have to go 99 strength over everybody like how I did in last year when it comes to certain stats. Now defensive ratings and physical ratings shouldn't really matter as much for the more skilled players, the snipers and the playmakers. But that's just one example. Let's look at a couple more players here in NHL 25. So let's just start out with Connor McDavid. Again, if you guys want to pause the video, take a screenshot, whatever it may be, I don't have a great way to really show everything on one screen, but this is the base game stats that he will be receiving in NHL 25. Now, let me go and recreate him with those exact stats in NHL 24. So here is McDavid, exact same stats have been applied in NHL 24, and he comes out at a 95 overall. In NHL 25, he's going to get a rating of 97. So that's only a two-point drop. That's nothing too, too considerable here. Let's move on to another player. Let's move on to Cole Caulfield. Once again, here's a look at NHL 25 stats for Cole Caulfield. He will receive an 88 overall rating at the launch of NHL 25. And there we go. I have just now recreated him with the exact same stats that he will be receiving. He comes out as an 83 overall. That's a five point difference between games. So there has definitely been some considerable changes here when it comes just to the overall system, how it works when it comes to player types and how that will affect it. So let's go to one more example here for today's video. Let's go look at Connor Bedard. Once again, here is what Bedard will be looking like at the launch of NHL 25. And for the last time here, he is recreated in NHL 24 with those same stats. In NHL 25, he is 88 overall. NHL 24, it comes out to be an 84 overall. So again, that's another four point difference in between games. And honestly, I love this change. I love that player types and everything is gonna end up affecting overall. My main question is, why did EA never mention this? Like, this is a great change. Why aren't you promoting this? Why aren't you really showing that you're taking more detail and you're paying attention to smaller details of a player? And now defense and physical ratings don't have to be bumped up as much to get that overall. And we can actually kind of have it, you know, closer to what it would be in real life, which is kind of helps replicate everything better. And that's just my question. I don't know why this was never mentioned, but you know, did want to bring it up here for you guys. If you're working on rosters, if you're, you know, tweaking anything in game, it is going to be a slightly different now. And you do have to pay attention to those player types a little bit more. But I think that is going to do it for today's quick NHL 25 news update video. This will be the final video before NHL 25 drops tomorrow. We are now just over 24 hours time of recording. And yeah, 
very, very excited to finally start being able to make content, edit the rosters, and get the whole process going on another year. But that will do it for today's video. I will see you all in the next one, and I will see you all in NHL 25.